This video shows how to record and play macros. Almost all page manipulation and image editing sequences can be recorded and thereafter be replayed on selected pages, on entire documents, or even on entire archives. You can also specify a macro to be executed during scanning in an after scanning profile in DocServer, or let DocServer execute a macro on documents dropped into a monitored folder. Even though you find most any function needed for daily work in PixEdit, you may sometimes wish to automate long, repetitive, or boring sequences of functions and start them with a single click. You may even execute these combined recorded functions on documents arriving in DocServer monitored hot folder. For example, if you have a large booklet scan job, you can let PixEdit automatically split, turn, and arrange the page order of each booklet automatically during scanning as shown in an earlier video here at PixEdit.com. This combined function does not exist as a separate fixed choice in PixEdit during scanning. However, you can first record this combined sequence in PixEdit and store the recording as a saved macro, and then let PixEdit replay the macro during scanning. Another example is you may want four and four pages to be automatically combined during scanning or all pages not already in portrait orientation be turned in a defined direction. As you can see, the possibilities are almost endless. In this video, we will stick to a specific example. We will show you how to record a macro that rotates, splits, and arranges a booklet, and then show how to instruct PixEdit to replay this macro during scanning. If you have seen the previous videos, you remember seeing how to process booklets. We will do the same thing now, except we'll record the action in a macro, then show how to add this macro to an after scanning profile. Since we showed how to arrange a booklet to normal page sequence in a previous video, we'll go rapidly through the recording part. On the screen you see a raw scanned booklet. To illustrate the page reordering, we have added large page numbers to each page for clarity. Click the record button. Notice the record button starts blinking, indicating it is in recording mode. Now choose all pages by pressing Ctrl A. Then use the Turn tool to obtain landscape format. Split all pages in two by Page, Split, Vertical. And finally, click Page, Page Sequence, and choose Normal, which is the booklet option. As you can see, the document pages are now in natural reading order. Stop the macro recording by clicking the Stop Recording button and save our new macro with a name that tells us what it does. We'll call this macro Booklets. Before we create an after scanning profile containing this macro, let's first check the macro to see if it does what it's supposed to do. First, click the Undo button several times to bring the document back to its original state. Then click the Play Macro button to test to see if the macro works as intended. As you can see, the macro worked just fine. Naturally, you can select this macro in the drop-down list and simply click the Play button when you need to correct an uncorrected scanned booklet. However, if you work in a scanning service bureau, you will probably want this process automated. To do so, you must put this macro into an after-scanning profile. Here's how to do this. Click first the Configure button in Scan Bar. Go directly to the Profile tab and click Add. Let's call the new profile Booklet Scanning. Now click the General tab and specify the macro we just made to be executed on each scan document. Since a new profile inherits all settings from the previously active profile, make sure you clear all other settings if running this macro automatically after scanning is the only thing you want to do. From this point on, just choose the booklet scanning profile whenever you scan booklets. The profile we just made can also be executed in DocServer when, for example, DocServer is monitoring a manual drop folder that expects booklets.